face Jeff Hornacek. Hornacek is playing in his 14th and final season. He's one of the greatest pure shooters in league history, and this season is challenging the all-time record for free throw shooting. The 36-year-old went from an NBA long shot to an NBA sure shot. When I was growing up, I used to go out in the, in the yard and, and pretend I was playing one-on-one -on -one and just pick two basketball players out and then take you know, the type of shots they did. You know, one time I'd be Isaiah and, you know, I'd, I'd backhand and say, I'm magic. I shot some Kareem hook shots and, uh, you know, that's the kind of stuff I, I did uh, uh, when I was young. young, young. At the college level, uh, I wasn't highly recruited. Uh, there was one in Western Michigan, I thought, is the school that, that was, the, I think, the only division one school that uh, was going to give me a scholarship. I told his mother and dad and he ain't, and Jeff that if he wanted to come to Iowa State, if he would come uh, and pay his way for a semester and prove to us he's a good player, then we'd uh, consider him for a scholarship. But in the beginning, I didn't, uh, oh, I just played the, the two or three minutes, scrub minutes at the end of the games, and, and so he, he called me in the office one day and said, uh, the first game, I decided to start him in the conference game. And we put him in, he, he played 40 minutes, and he was a super late player of the game. And from that time on, he was a fixture at Iowa State. Iowa State at guard, a 6'3 senior from Lee, Illinois, number 14, Jeff Hunter, Colleges were reluctant on taking a chance, thinking maybe I was too slow. And, uh, so, you know, for that, uh, he gave me the opportunity and uh, the confidence, I guess, over the years to, to continue on. Welcome to the 1986 NBA Draft. Most people in the NBA, in fact, all of them, other than Phoenix, uh, said that uh, he couldn't make it in the NBA. Uh, Phoenix had called me and had uh, the meetings up there. They were the only team that, that did. So we have three second round picks. If you're there uh, on, on those picks, we're, we're going to take you. Hornacek's stay in Phoenix lasted six seasons, highlighted by an all-star game appearance in 1992. But the following offseason, the Suns traded for Charles Barkley, sending Hornacek and two teammates to Philly. I had a very special feeling uh, about Jeff. He was like a son in some respects, and it was very, very difficult uh, to include him in that trade. You just felt like you were part of that family and that you were going to be there forever, and then all of a sudden you get a call saying you're traded. Well, luckily, I went to Philadelphia. I would have got traded from Phoenix. I would have ended up in Utah, so um, I guess it all works out. There wasn't a lot of adjustment for him. He's, a, he's an unusual player in coming to a team that's was pretty much set in what we did. Stopped him to Malone all the time, and he, he don't spend a lot of time coaching Jeff Hornacek. He knows what he's doing. It's like Cotton Fitzsimmons said when we got him, he said he's going to make you a better coach. Here's Jeff Hornacek from the Utah Jazz with his young children courtside and watching. Your career goes on, you're wanting to win championships, but you're also wanting to, to do it because you see how much joy it brings to your, your kids and your family. And, and that was what was special for me, is to see them over there jumping. And that, that's what's nice. And then, then they put the pressure on me. You know, this year I'd go into that thing and they said, you got to win it again. I'm like, hey, well, I'm just going there to have fun, guys. Yep, what a sec. Winning the shootout. guy, not the strongest, not the fastest, yet you know, I've been able to uh, not only survive high school and college, but play in the NBA for 14 years, and I think a lot of kids are probably in that same situation that I was, and uh, you know, I think it shows them that through hard work, you know, there's always a chance. Jeff Hornacek. They both grew up in the Chicago area, and his dad was your coach freshman year in high school, right? Yeah, not only was he my coach, he was also the dean of students. But the thing that I remember most about Jeff, he was this real skinny little kid, and we used to kick his butt all over the gym. He couldn't shoot, he couldn't run, he could barely even walk. Then all of a sudden, through hard work, he grew up to be this great superstar. It just goes to show you, hard work pays off, and it doesn't hurt to be the coach's son. And of course, uh, you, you helped him with his free throw shooting at the time. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I think that you were, had an intimate relationship with the dean of students? <laughs> 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 in his office you a lot. Know, 